obviously finding out about the club's league status so late on wasn't ideal. Um, how did you and the rest of your staff work to minimise the effect? I think it was very difficult. It was, you know, it was really last minute. Uh, we only had three weeks pre-season, uh, so a lot of the development team players were then automatically stepped up in the into the first team. Uh, we managed to keep hold of several senior players, which was ideal for me. Uh, it was a chance to build the team around them. Uh, we didn't have we didn't have any pre-season friendlies, which which caused us problems in the beginning of the season. Uh, but we managed to kind of get ahead of ourselves now when, when we're on the right road. Um, with, the, with the majority of last season's first team players leaving, the squad was very young. How do you feel of Colt and Southern step up? I think they've done really well, you know, it's a big it's a big gap for them uh, to jump. Uh, I think the standard of the, of the football and the pace of the football, playing against women rather than young girls has been a big, a big challenge for them. Uh, but they're learning every game and they'll continue to get better. Um, there were a few experienced players added before the start of the season, such as Grace McCarthy and Meg Beer. What effect do you think they've had among the younger group? I think they've had a positive, positive effect. Uh, just having that experience, you know, they've, they've been in the game, they've, they've got a lot more games under their belt than, than the young players. Uh, they've been involved in first team football, Grace McCarthy's been involved in Champions League football, so that's invaluable for the young players to learn on. Uh, you made Kira Ramshaw the captain at the start of the season. But made her stand out as first choice? Kira's homebred Sunland player, uh, a great role model for the younger players. Uh, she's been at the club for a long time, played at the highest level of women's football. She was the perfect candidate to take the captain's on back. You've made a couple of mid-season additions, um, including Alison Cowan and Neve McLaughlin. Uh, what benefits do you think they've had and what they what else they could bring to the team? Again, they bring great experience. I was, I was desperate for, to bring another goalkeeper in uh, to support Sophie Stonehouse. Uh, I think it's important that there's two keepers there for competition purposes, but also cover in case uh, Sophie got injured. Uh, Neve's got great experience. She's in international football now at senior level, so we're looking forward to getting her back on the pitch as well. Uh, in terms of the football inside of things, starting with a few negatives, there have been a few poor results against the likes of twice against Fylde and once against Stoke. Um, what do you feel have been the cause of these and where do you think the team can, can put the salt out? I think it's just a little bit of an experience, you know, the squad's not going to be knitted together immediately. Uh, we're coming across different styles of football, uh, both sides are very direct and it's not it's not a f kind of style of play that you see a lot at the highest level away in youth football. Uh, so it's, it's something we're trying to adapt to and learn with every game we play. On the plus side, being a few good results against like to Middlesbrough, big result against Nottingham Forest. Uh, what did, what's been most pleasing throughout those results for you to see? I think the most pleasing thing is we've, we've won more than we've lost, uh, which has given a great kind of foothold in the league and give players confidence. Uh, we're just trying to build and learn each, each week and you know each training sessions are focused towards the games that we play in. We just hope to pick up as many points as we can. Um, moving on, looking towards 2019, body games moving on to the second half of the season? I'd like to try and to win as many games as possible uh, and you know, finish as high, high up in, in the league as we can. Uh, obviously we want to get promoted. Uh, we have dropped points which may, may be difficult for her but you know, we're going to give it a, a right good go.